Hello, welcome. In this short video, I will illustrate that the sample variance is a minimum variance unbiased estimator of the variance of a IID sequence with zero mean and fixed variance. Identical independently distributed sequence, random sequence X and that, that is IID that has Gaussian probability density function with mean zero and variance sigma square and then a minimum variance unbiased estimate of this variance sigma square is given by sigma hat square is equal to 1 by n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square n where n is from 0 to n minus 1 that is we have n values in the sequence and we want to prove that the sample variance is a minimum variance unbiased estimator of this true unknown variance so the first property we have to verify is the expectation or the bias of this value given by bias of sigma square hat is equal to expectation of sigma square hat minus sigma square. So, this value that is expectation of sigma square hat is equal to expectation of this value, the formula that is expectation of 1 by n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square underscore n. And since expectation is a linear operator, we can take it inside the summation that is we have 1 by n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 expectation of x square of n. And since the uh, expectation of x n is 0, then the variance of this variance of x n is equal to sigma square, but it is also given by the difference between expectation of x square minus expectation of x n square. But this is expectation is 0, we have expectation of x square n is equal to the variance sigma square. Therefore, this is equal to 1 by n into summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1, summation over n equal to 0 to n minus 1 of x sigma square, which is equal to n by n sigma, n by n into sigma square, that is sigma square. Therefore, bias of the sigma hat square, that is the estimator, is equal to 0. Now, let us look at the variance of this estimator, that is variance of sigma hat square which is defined as expectation of sigma hat square again square basically square twice minus expectation of sigma hat square over square. So, first we have to find the second moment that is expectation of sigma hat square squared is equal to expectation of 1 by n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square underscore n. Let's square on this term. So, this is the definition of the second moment. Now, this is equal to, we can take n outside. So, we have 1 by n square and then we have expectation of 1 x summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square n multiplied by summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square n. Basically, we write this as a product of two summations. And this is equal to 1 by n square x on summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 and we have expectation of x square n into x square m. So, this is the second moment. Now, we want to evaluate this expectation. And since x of n, since x n is a um, Gaussian process with zero mean and variance sigma square, this can be expressed. This uh, this expression can be evaluated as x n into x n, x m into x m is equal to expectation of x n into x n that is x n square into expectation of x m square plus expectation of x n into x m whole square into the same uh, again we have the same term that is expectation of x n into x m whole square this relationship is basically derived from the formula that the expectation of uh, of a b c d that is for um, gaussian process independent gaussian process is equal to the sum of their uh, products of uh, some of the products of their correlations between any two uh, variables that is expectation of a b into expectation of c d 
plus expectation of AC and expectation of BD plus expectation of AD into expectation of BD, excuse me, BC. So, the expectation of the product of four random variables, four Gaussian random variables is equal to four identical, I mean, four independently distributed random variables with Gaussian density is equal to the, pro, uh, the sum of these some of these correlations. So, by using this formula, we get this result. So, by applying this result in this formula, I mean by using this result in this step, we have 1 by n square summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 expect expectation of x n square into expectation of x m square, which are basically this is a the expectation of x m square and ex expectation of x m square are both equal. So, we write it as a square term plus and since these two terms are equal, we have expectation of x n into x m whole square. And we know that expectation of x n square is sigma square. So, we have and there are n square terms here. So, it should be n square into sigma square by n square plus and here we have expectation of xn into xm. And for n equal to m, this is becomes expectation of xn square. And for n not equal to m, this becomes expectation of xn into x of expectation of xn. So, writing those terms, we have 1 by n square summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 expectation of xn square. And we have this 2 here, whole square. And for the rest of the terms, that is when n is not equal to m, we have 1 by n square into summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 n not equal to m and we have 2 times expectation of x n into expectation of x m and since this is 0, this term is 0. So, we have expectation of sigma square uh, sigma hat square whole square is equal to the second moment of sigma hat square is equal to sigma square plus and this is n by n square that is 1 by n into 2 sigma square plus 0. So, this is the result and now the variance sigma hat square is equal to sigma square excuse me this is sigma power 4 and this is also sigma power 4. So, this is sigma power 4 plus 2 times sigma power 4 by n minus the square of the mean that is expectation of sigma hat square which is equal to sigma square which is equal to sigma square. So, this is equal to sigma square whole square which is also again equal to sigma power 4. So, these two terms cancel out we are left with 2 times sigma power 4 by n. So, this is the variance of sigma hat square that is a that is a estimate of the variance. So, under the limit as n tends to infinity, that is asymptotic value of the variance, sigma hat square of the variance estimator, variance of the variance estimator is equal to limit as n tends to infinity 2 into sigma power 4 by n. And since these two terms are finite terms, and this uh, as the limit n tends to infinity, this tends to 0. So, in the limit, this value is 0. Hence, the sample variance estimator is the minimum variance unbiased estimator in the asymptotic sense. Thanks for watching.